Hey, it's Miss Mace, and I wanted to scoop forward here because I'm using a smaller one today. This is the Sopranino, and the Sopranino is the smallest. If the Soprano is this big, the Sopranino is this big, and it's so cute. It's so tiny, but you also have to be very careful of your air, okay? My Sopranino players, there's two of you this year. I want you to really practice on controlling the air, and the articulations have to be very careful, too. This is for Aiken Who, for all city, and um, my two children, I want you to pay very close attention to your articulations because the sopranino will just cut straight through, okay? It's so high that that's what people are going to hear. So, for Aiken Who, we do have a set of notes that we're using, okay? It's going to be C, D, E, okay? F natural, notice my thumb has not come off yet, E, C, D, E, C, F natural, and you finally get to lift that off for G, F, E, C, D. There's one little B in there. B natural, not B flat, to C. So I'm going to go ahead and play through it slowly. Notice I'm going to turn this way so you can kind of see where my thumb comes off. Okay, so that's the main melody. It happens three times. It happens after verse one, verse two, and verse three. So what you want to make sure of is that um, you're keeping it very light. And the sopranino has this little problem that moisture collects really easily in there. So in between each one, you want to make sure that spit is cleared. Okay, not do it obviously, like, but just kind of wipe it off because if any uh, spittle gets in there, any condensation then you're going to have a little gurgly tone, and that's not what we want. We want a nice, clear tone. So I'm going to play that line again. Not too hard. Keep it nice and light, a staccato tongue. You think of tee, 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 behind the teeth. The tongue is hitting behind the teeth, okay? The fourth time, the only change that happens the fourth time through, the fourth verse, when we find out Aiken is an alien in our version, is you're going to play it two times through, and the end is very short. Okay? Keep everything. It's an Irish jig song. Um, a feel. It's not an actual jig. Um, but it has that feel of an Irish jig. So we got to keep it upbeat, light, and very, very even. Okay? Here we go. You ready? Two times through, and then in. And there's no slowdown at the end, whatever. It just ends right there. Okay? I remember when on stage, for a little dramatic effect, when you end it, don't move until the conductor moves. Okay, don't be like, yeah, I did it. Just end straight there. Okay, one more time through, and then I'm done with the video. Okay, that's it. Practice, practice. I'll see you on Tuesday mornings for rehearsal.